Oh, hang on. It's a bit mucky. Here we go. Right. This is my photographic area that I use for mainly jewellery and like little odds and sods. Um, it's off Amazon. It's just got like a little light strip there and one at the back and it's USB port there. And then this is just like a little bit of foam. Let me just move these out. And I've used it so much that, and the cat's kept sleeping, sleeping in it, that it's quite mucky underneath. So I started using a nice little bit of like lace embroidery bit to cover it. And now obviously that is starting to get a bit dirty. And I thought, oh, what if I get like a little bit of gray foam to go there because grey is a nice photographic background and it's what uh, Cheryl Pound Girl uses and what Z uses and a bunch of other people and it does look really nice and it's all about like um, you know it not correcting the colours and stuff like that the grey is the best background so mm. let's have some coffee so I thought about doing that um, but then I thought I'm going to have the same problem again possibly we were getting mucky with the foam and things like that so then i thought you know i might have shown the other day that i had this and this is from ikea and it's like a little display box thing with a nice gray foamy type background but it's just not deep enough to take decent photos so i will show you in a sec what i thought i would do all right so back in my bedroom i've got this and as you can see, it's just full of bits and bobs. It's a bit of a dumping ground. There's some Vivian West with paper and some hair dye, which I use. And there's my red order glasses, which I've never worn because I don't actually need glasses. And then various just books and things that can all go in other places. This is just an Ikea unit. And it's basically just wood with a wood background. Um... So yeah, I thought I might try and turn that into a little photographic area, but obviously first of all, I'm going to have to find places for all these. Isn't my lamp gorgeous? Isn't that just the most gorgeous 1950s, 60s lamp? Which sometimes doesn't work. Oh, isn't that just horny AF? That was a find and a skip. Isn't it the coolest? Anyway distraction so yeah i'm gonna have to tidy all of this up first move some stuff around in my bedroom and find new homes for all of these bits so i'm gonna do that now step one i tend to get everything from the shelves shove it on my bed and then i'll reposition all of those things and meanwhile azami just has to take a little look just to inspect what do you think azami think it's a good idea indeed and now Shizuma has to do the same. What do you think, Shizuma? Okay, done? Pretty much the same reaction. And then typically, as I'm tidying up, I find this. And this is what um, I started using as photographic backgrounds for small stuff. Ages ago. And now I'm starting to doubt myself. But no, I know I'm right, because obviously that's only good for, like, flat lay things. But... This is from Poundland, and um, it's actually quite smart. I, there's lots of nice little backgrounds in there which would be quite useful, so I'm going to keep that out, uh, just in case, because they're also quite cool. So there you go. Rustic Atmosphere Design Pad. There you go. Not bad. So I obviously haven't been through this stuff for ages. So I've got my receipts and things from um, Vivian Westwood purchases and some Vivian Westwood paper. So I will keep them together in the, the bag that I've got in my wardrobe. Various little bits of like toiletries and stuff. Some cool playing cards. Um, so they're quite nice like circus themed. And then I've got I've got a, the red pack of these is my favourite. So they've got like a little like... Um, like countryside scene on there and then these ones I bought um, in Hitchin actually because I was like oh my god I didn't bring cards with me and then we ended up not using them anyway some stationery which is probably quite useful um, yay um, what else is there oh another Vivian Westwood bit 
so I'll keep all of them together. Um, a phone which I was I was trying to set up like a second eBay store and only have it on that, and then I just kind of got like it didn't bother in the end because it's too much effort. But I'll still it's good to have a backup. This is my Kindle which I haven't used for quite a while, but that I do take that on holiday with me, so obviously not going to get rid of that. Bunch of books. So I've got Christmas Carol, oh, Stuart Lee's Carpet Remnant World on DVD. I love Stuart Lee. Slaughterhouse Five, which is a great book. George Orwell's 1984. Martin Miller's Susie, Led Zeppelin and Me. Um, that book Carla got me. I still didn't make any because they were very boy-centric in there. It's very unfair. Ruby Wax's How to Be Human. Um, the New Optimum Nutrition Bible. And then um, Collecting Art. And oh my God. So much gorgeous stuff in here. Shelley would love this. Lovely, lovely book there. So they're all going to go downstairs. My Kindle will probably go downstairs. And then I'll just tidy all of this lot away. And I didn't show you this. This was the invitation to um, my best friend's wedding. And there's some photos of us while having fun with Scott's sister. Look at him in his sexy, sexy tartan. Oh, gorgeous boy and look how big I was there that's like two years ago now year two years oh my god I can't even remember when was it 2018 Jesus wow and that's me after losing a bit of weight as well anyway that was a really fun day that such fun right pile of stuff to take down that area sorted and then bedside bits sorted Everything dispersed, put into place, and now just got to get this downstairs. Thankfully, these come out, so that makes it a little bit easier. Yay! Ice right, downstairs, it wasn't so bad, it's not actually that heavy. It does need a good wash first, that's all like chemicals, you know, from um, uh, incense stick things, what are they called? Them things. Them things. Yeah, reed diffusers. And it needs a good dust. And I don't think I need to key it. But yeah, that's proper dusty. So we'll give it a good clean first. I've decided on the order. So, grey. Because I'm going to use that one hopefully the most. I'll probably use that one the second most because it's good old white. And then green because, you know, it can affect like the colours of your photography. But it might be nice for some stuff. So that's the one I'll probably use the least. So that one's going to go at the bottom. And if it were to do a display unit, I think that would work as well so I'm gonna label up like the bits you know which need to be which color Um, yeah okay right I've got you perched on a bit of brick it's a little bit windy but I think over there it's not quite so windy so oh and you can see my soul painting it higher I look like a proper camp today okay. I'm gonna do outside first I should obviously be wearing a mask, but I don't have like, a proper mask for this. But oh well, let's give it a go. Not sure if I'm doing it right, but you know, it's a little bit patchy so far, but we're trying. Um, it's covered in paint.
That's quite lacquering. I'll be back in a bit. Right, so I've done one side there and then this is just drying on the inside. And then I started on the top and it's only gone and bloody run out already. So that is totally empty now. So I don't have enough to do the base bit in there. It's not the end of the world. I can keep it as white for now until I manage to get some more. But that's a bit of a bugger. Oh well. So what I might do, I mean, I'm going to have to get another lot of this. I'm just hoping that they have the same. Like, that's a bit of a bugger. Oh well. Well, I'm an absolute twazzer, can't I? I should have done the inside bits first. <sighs> Never mind. I was going to pop into town. I was like, oh, I can just go to Poundland and like, I'll see if they've got some more. But Poundland in Bridgend is shut. So I can't do that. And there's one person selling two cans of it on eBay, £14 delivered. <sighs> so that's a bit of a pisser. I can still crack on with like the green bit and the white bit, but I wanted to do grey surround and that would have been easier if it was all grey first. I do have some other paints which I could go over like the grey on the outside because that's not really essential. Ah, oh, that's really quite annoyed me now. I had a plan. It was going to work. You can tell I don't do DIY that often, can't you? Got it. Right, well, here's an update. I don't think it's drying very well. I think, especially on this side, I mean, I know it's more that you look at that, but I don't know, I don't think that's particularly nice. And even, like, where I was taking my time and stuff, it's getting all patchy. So, I think I'm going to 86 this, seeing as I can't get any more anyway. And we're going to go to plan B. Hmm. Right, so here's plan B. Many years ago, about five, six years ago, I used to work in an antiques type shop, a vintage and retro shop, and where they did upcycling stuff and they sold paints there. And before the place closed down, I bought a bunch of paints and I've never done anything with them. They are six pound. Um, Grand Illusion, I didn't pay six pound for them, I think I paid three pound each. So this is Grand Illusions Vintage Paint, um, Peinture de Lait for Furniture, Walls and Paint Effects. And I have got Fossil Grey, Minth, Verdigris and Noir. Now I think the fossil is still a bit too dark for this. So I'm going to see if I can mix it with just some plain white paint. Um, I mean, I probably can't do that, but, you know, I've already messed this up anyway, so I might as well just continue messing things up. Um, I'm going to have a route around in the garage and see what paints that we've got that I can make that into a lighter grey. Fingers crossed. We've got no white. What house doesn't have white paint, eh? But we do have this. It's had this for ages. So this is very, very light blue. So, we're just going to try this, because like I said, I've got nothing to lose now. I'm going to pour some of this in there. It's separated a little bit, because we've had it for so long. I'm going to make sure that I've got enough this time to cover the whole bloody thing. Get off. Put that back on. open this one up and I'm going to slowly add some of the fossil dark grey until I get the light-ish bluey grey now that I didn't actually want but that's what we're aiming for right now. God it's very dark grey see and that is too too dark grey. So what am I mixing it with? Let me mix it with this. Okay, let's just... Let's 
Ersten. This might take a while. Just paint it with that effect, couldn't I? <laughs> okay, this is going to take a while. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've used about three quarters of that. And that, I think, is a reasonably satisfying, very light grey. Fun. <sighs> okay, so next disaster. I've just come to check on it. And to see whether it's dry to like paint all over the top. And of course, should have known this, it's coming off. Should have used a primer first, but you'd expect with like chalk paint, well I don't know. Okay, maybe I should have keyed it and primed it, because it, obviously this stuff has got some kind of plastic coating on it, isn't it? I don't know, maybe I'm just a, a DIY Egypt. But look, managed to rub all of that off inside. Oh god, I'm really not good at this shit. Right, I'm totally fudged. Just spent ages sandpapering most of that off. So, bought some uh, soapy water with me and I'm gonna wipe that down and then dust all of this off so I've got fresh space to start again. Back to square one, jeez. Right, it's about as clean as I can get it. Scrub down and everything, just leaving it in the sun to dry. I also found some primer, which I probably should have used from the start. It's not a whole can, so I'm just gonna try and do like the inside, like four bits there, and then if I've got enough, do that, but I don't think it'll make it. I'm really scared to start doing something and it running out on me again, but. You know, I suppose got nothing to lose, except dignity. <laughs> right, all sprayed and drying, and I figured with that, because that's just chipboard, I could probably paint onto that, so instead of painting that side and I'm to redo it, I'm just gonna paint that side. That makes more sense, I hope. Right, I've just, um, as a test bit, just painted like the underside of this and it is quite a nice grey but what I don't like is that you can obviously see paint strokes in it which I don't think that'll be I don't really want that in my photography so I might have to use a roller I reckon but we're gonna see how well this dries see if it comes up again it's a little bit in shade at the moment because it's getting a bit warm but yeah I'll come back in a bit right just tried out my grey paint on like the inner shelf and the roller and that seems to be doing okay so I'll wait for that to dry and then I will crack on with the inside of that. Fingers crossed this is going to work. Okay, so I felt brave and I've done the interior and I've done the exterior on both sides. This is obviously the bottom so that's where I tested it and it seems to be drying. Okay, quite nice actually. Yeah, I think, okay. I'll have to obviously redo that and then when it's all dry and everything I'll flip it up and do the top. Um, yeah. Oh god, fingers crossed, please. Right, because I'm going to use this side now, it seems alright to paint on because it's reasonably... I mean it's chipboard isn't it? You can paint on chipboard. Um, so I've done like the rough marks from the other side on this side, so I'm going to paint this bit now. Oh, I think it's drying all right, I hope. Uh, so I'm going to leave this to dry for a bit. I've done second coats on stuff, uh, second and third coats. That's done, and the back bit is done. So yeah, I'm going to take a rest for a bit and put some of this together and... Um, oh, it's Kirsten and Karin on in a bit. Oh, I'm knackered. Hello, terribly unflattering angle. Right, so this was the light grey and then I've poured some of the fossil grey into here so that I can do the bottom bit of this and then maybe a couple of rollers of the inside of there and stuff and there's a middle bit of there and then I'll have to put it together and I'll do like all the, the fine bits 
afterwards. Now this um, is self-priming paint, so this should be all right straight away. You can already tell it's like a lot thicker. Oh my god, it's just like soaking in. Oops, paint splatter. Don't want that. Right. Gosh, it's a lot darker than the other one. I'm glad I didn't go with this for the main one, but it's so super thick. I think this is really designed to go on with a paintbrush rather than a roller. lots of air bubbles but that's because obviously the roller is a new one on this one but the more we use it the less air bubbles there should be and there should be enough of this paint it'll still take two coats but there should be enough <laughs> famous last word um to go around It'll be okay. I'm just going to load it up again and do another quick coat on here. And hopefully get rid of some of them air bubbles. Right. Catch you in a bit. Oh, right. I'm pretty much coming to the end of that part. It's literally what's just in the lid, so I want to save that. It's not looking great on either side because I'm running out, but... Hopefully we'll have just enough to do like the top ups, fingers crossed. If not, might have to do something else. But the back plate is looking all right. Um, I will have to do some touch ups on the light gray because you know, pink travels around and I'm not very good at this. So I'm gonna open up the last tin, which is the noir. And that is gonna be for the bottom bit except it doesn't want to open. Come on. God, I'm really... I mean, I know I like making stuff, but this is... This is beyond. Right. Hiya. Okay. I mean, I've got plenty of black if I do have to go over it, I could always go over it in black or there was that turquoise or whatever so let's just get rid of some of that try not to get it on that bit and then let's do the bottom bit roller charged, ready to go copy Right, the black is all done and it's drying. That bit which is in the sun has dried really quick, but obviously these have still got to go. That is not looking too pretty at all, so not quite sure about that. But as long as the, the back's all right, which it kind of is, then hopefully it should be okay. As you can see, I did a little few scuffs and it needs cleaning up afterwards. Um, but we're getting there. Hopefully it's uh, <sighs> hopefully it's nearly done because I'm super fudged. Hi, I've laid down, I've laid down on the cardboard so I can get the sun there, not on that side obviously. Um, then I've also painted the underside, which would be the top of that bit and the bottom of the next bit. I'm going to do another coat on that, and then in a bit I'm going to try and slide that back in and see if it's kind of worked. Right, backing slid in. It's okay, but um, there's just really faint black marks here, so I will have a little bit of touching up to do um, in a bit. But that's nearly dry, so it's nearly time uh, to get it inside and do the touching up. Oh, I'm getting there, guys. Wait. Hey. Watch it all fall apart now. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, hot, sweaty mess here. Got it back inside, I've tacked the back on. Now I need my little knobbly bits. Oh god, totally unflattering angles. Please don't look at me. 
I look awful. Right. Where did they go? I hope I've done this right now or else my shelves are going to be... Oh, seriously, don't look at the back there. My shelves are going to be in completely the wrong places. And... Like, you guys can laugh, but I'll probably cry. Okay, I think that's right. Like so. Get in, you bastard. I'm so pooped. Okay, shelf number one. Oh, it's going to scrape paint off, I just know it. Okay, so I will have to do a bit of touching up there. actually not entirely terrible <sighs> wow okay so here it is proper <sighs> so you can see like the middle gray and i haven't done the top of it there the middle gray is a little bit patchy and so is like the dark gray stroke black and there's little mistakes all over the place it adds character. We've all got mistakes. I just asked Mum, would it have been easier if I just left it here and just painted the insides? And she's like, well, maybe. <laughs> you could have told me that like seven hours ago. Well, you've got to learn. Yeah, I've got to learn. I suppose I have learnt stuff today. Like, I can't do DIY. No, don't say that. Okay. Right, I'm going to do the finishing touches and things. <sighs> right, I've done the majority of touch-ups, I think. I'm sure to find more. I haven't got any more of the middle colour paint, so that's just going to have to stay as it is. However, it's not looking so bad. I will get some strip lights to go um, in each side as well, I think. Um, maybe some battery-powered ones if they exist. But... I can sort of deal with that. Imagine that with a bit of light. Imagine that looking good. <laughs> and bizarrely, I think maybe the middle one might be my favourite. That's still wet in the corner there. Hmm. Well, or oh, maybe a lazy Susan and then I can like put it in the middle and then turn it around like that. Oh, that would be fun. What do you think, Mother? Have I done good? Very good. Yay! Can I have a drink now? For an amateur? Yes. For an amateur. Rude.